Wow, hello my people. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. Your wish has always been my command. Thanks always. Well, meanwhile, this is another one. All right, this is another one. All right, on this one it says, I have been to Ivory Coast and Ghana, but Igbo land is the best. Igbo speaking Fulani woman reveals. All right, the news in detail. Among the Igbos, it is believed that traveling is part of growth and human experience. A widely traveled person in Igbo land is considered more knowledgeable than a gray-haired man. This is one of the reasons why Igbos can be found virtually in every nook and cranny of the world hustling to eke out a living for themselves and their families. However, it is very uncommon to see non-Igbos in Igbo land except for the northerners who live in camps and secluded quarters. It is difficult to see other non-Igbos living freely in huge numbers in Igbo land or even speaking the Igbo language flawlessly unlike the Igbos who live in almost all parts of Nigeria and easily pick up their host language. There are speculations that Igbo land is hostile and too competitive for foreigners to dwell or that the Igbo language is difficult or maybe as a result of some other factors. Last time it was Sefia Ali from Sokoto State. Today we have Alsana, a Fulani woman from Niger, a country not Niger State. But women have one thing in common. They have lived in Igbo land for a greater part of their lives. Sefia came to Igbo land when she was 12 and had lived here for 25 years. As Sana was born and bred in Igbo land, but at some point visited Cote d'Ivoire, Ghana, and Niger, her home country. But Sophia and are proud of Sophia and her proud of Igbo land. According to them, Igbo land is the best for them. Yesterday, Al Sana spoke with Mazi Ifain Uwosu of Anambra State Broadcasting Service, ABS. Asana is heavily pregnant. She also has a younger son with her. Okay, and as you can see, see the transcript of their conversation in English below. All right. Mazi on this one says, Nne Kedu, how are you? So the woman says, he replied by saying everything is peaceful how is it going okay mazi says it is going on well woman says how about your people mazi replied by saying my people are in good health a woman asked what about your children mazi replied by saying they have fine what about you Woman says, peace, everything is fine, we are just managing. Okay, and Mazi asks, what is your name? Woman answered, Alsana. Mazi asks, Alsana, where are you from? And Alsana replied by saying, I am from Niger. Okay, Mazi replied by saying, Niger, how come you speak Igbo so well? The woman replied, I was born and raised here in Igbo land. Mazi was surprised and uh, you were born in this Igbo land? Woman replied, yes. Where in Igbo land, please? She replied, Isu Aniocha. Okay. And uh, Mazi said, really? Isu Aniocha, who are you married to? Woman replied by saying, I am married to my fellow Fulani. 
Okay. Mazi said, what are you doing for a living? And woman replied, I am not doing anything at the moment. I used to sell perfume, but as I am pregnant now, as I am pregnant now, I had to stop as I wouldn't want anything to happen to my baby. Okay, Mazi replied by saying, you sell perfume and had to stop because you are pregnant? A woman replied, yes, I had to stop because I am almost due for delivery. So, I have no strength to be going about hawking the perfume. Mazi replied by saying, that's really thoughtful of you. How do you see Igbo land? And she said, ha, in an Igbo land? is the best amongst all i have been to ghana Cote d'Ivoire, but igbo land is the best for me amazi said wow igbo land is the best for you she replied by saying yes it is the best for me is your place do you have both fair and dark people as in in your place do you have both fair and dark people Mazi asked. A woman replied by saying, Yes, we have them all, both fair and dark. The fair people are the mixed, or are they still Fulani people? Woman replied, We are all Fulani from Niger. That's nice. Point at his son. What's the name of your son? His name is Ahasan. Al Hassan. Mazi Al Hassan. Woman said, Yes. Stood to Al Hassan and says, My boy, greet them. Al Hassan waves rather coldly as Mazi chuckles with delight. Thank you very much. Looking into the camera, you all have seen how their sister from Niger that speaks Igbo fluently. Woman interjects, God is the king, he knows all things himself. Hmm. Mazi, indeed, God does all things. All right, take care, my dear. All right, that has been said so far. And you know, from the conversation, you will notice that according to her, she has said it all, that she has stayed in the land igbo land and she has gone far and wide she has went to so many places and as it is she respects the igbo land and igbo people are the best hmm. that's serious this is what she has said so far well a lot of people have also reacted to this on social media okay okay now a he's has said it that's okay hmm. said well what on earth were you expecting her to say that Igbo land is terrible and get herself killed? All right, well, that's what Ais has said on his own opinion. All right, so and someone has also said it here. And meanwhile, Chidi Nwaiwo at EH has said that you are as in replying to what Ais has said that. What on earth were you expecting her to say? That Igbo land is terrible and get herself killed. Okay, and now at EH is now replying that, well, you are the biggest idiot of all times because you don't travel to other places to feel other people's way of life. That's why you open your gutter mouth to alter nonsense all right that has also been taken all right and a lot of people have reacted on this well but time wouldn't permit me to extend more than this well meanwhile remember to subscribe for more updates thanks and god bless